hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous uh, videos we discussed about uh, the accuracy of uh, measuring instrument and the static characteristics uh, that section and we also discussed about error and correction so in that video i told you that in a separate video i will discuss uh, what are the different ways of uh, expressing the accuracy of measurement so in this video we are going to discuss that so before watching this video i would like you to please watch that video first so that you understand this video in a better way so just a quick recap so the accuracy of a measuring instrument it is defined as the closeness with which the output of the instrument which is the measured value of the quantity or parameter it approaches the true value okay so it is the degree of correctness of the measuring instrument so when we discuss about accuracy we have to discuss about error because it is because of the error we are discussing about accuracy otherwise it would have it would have, there would have been no reason to discuss about accuracy it is because there is error we have to discuss accuracy of an instrument so the accuracy of an instrument is actually represented in terms of its error so no matter how much we try there will always be error in measurement it the uh, error the value of error can be less or more but there will be error it is not possible to get zero error in output okay so the error it is defined as the difference between the measured value of a quantity or the output of the instrument and the true value okay so it is express uh, it is expressed as static error most so i also told you that whenever we talk about error it is mostly static error uh, more than 80% time it is static error the dynamic error it comes into play in control systems and in process dynamics and industrial instrumentation so more or less when we in electrical and electronics measurement we'll discuss about static error so static error is the difference between the measured value vm and the true value vt static error e subscript s so it can be positive or negative so there are various factors which affect the errors or accuracy of the instrument which is the nature of the parameter under measurement what type of parameter is it is the quality of the instrument the design characteristics the accuracy of the observation it depends on the person who is taking the observation the readings then the installation the accuracy how uh, good the installation procedure is so the job of the design engineers or the ones who are in charge of designing the instrument is to minimize this error no matter how much we try there will be error so if we can minimize the error then it is a very good thing okay so this is the static error and also there is another way of expressing which is the relative static error relative stat static error is defined as the A ratio between the static error and the true value static error is vm minus vt measured value and true value difference and divided by true value will get the relative static error so now coming to the main topic there are different ways of expressing the accuracy of measurement so whenever you purchase an instrument there will be in the specification sheet there will be a uh, in the specification column there will be a particular section in which there will be the accuracy that performance characteristic will be specified and also uh, it will also be specified in what way the accuracy is being specified whether uh, there are three ways in which we can do it whether it is uh, specified in terms of point accuracy for a particular range or percentage of scale range accuracy or percentage of true value accuracy so we'll discuss them one by one so first is point accuracy so in this type of specification 
the accuracy is specified it is expressed for particular points okay or one or more points for a particular measurement range okay okay so for example let's say that uh, for a certain range okay from a lower value to a higher value for a particular range a uh, scale it can be specified to read within plus minus 0.3 mm so try to understand it means that whatever output we will get let's say we get output 40 mm so when we get the reading 40 mm it means there is a possibility that the actual output can be 40.3 or it can be 39.7 40 when you add 0.3 to it it will become 40.3 when you subtract 0.3 from it from 40 it will become 39.7 so what i'm trying to say is that for a range let's say the range is from 30 to 50 okay 30 millimeter to 50 millimeter there is a chance that whatever reading we get it there is a chance that it can either be plus if we add plus 3 to it or minus 0.3 plus 0.3 and minus 0.3 if we add or subtract that is the actual output of the instrument okay so when is like i said uh, let's say we get the reading 40 okay we get the reading from the instrument that is 40 millimeters then the actual reading can either be 40.3 or it can be 39.7 okay so that is what i'm trying to say similarly a thermometer it can be uh, stated it can be specified to read plus 0 0.1 degree celsius for a range from 0 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius it means for any value within this range let's say 30 30 degree celsius when the output reading is 30 degree celsius there is a chance that it is 30.1 or 29.9 okay so that is what I'm trying to say. That is what is uh, the point accuracy actually means. Then is the percentage of scale range accuracy. So here the uh, accuracy, as I said, it is specified in terms of error. It is represented in terms of error. That's why I said when we discuss accuracy, we have to discuss about error because accuracy is represented. It is specified in terms of error. So the percentage of scale range accuracy, the accuracy is specified in terms of percentage of error, which is the static error, Vm minus Vt, the difference between the measured value and the true value divided by the maximum scale value. Okay, the maximum output or the scale reading, which is there for that instrument, that is kept in the denominator, that is constant. This static error it can change depending on what is the measured value of the output the true value is fixed okay because it is static error the true value is fixed so vm minus vt divided by the maximum scale value let's say the maximum scale reading is uh, let's say 300 degree celsius so that 300 degree celsius will be fixed these things can change that is the vm can change for different readings vt is fixed true value is fixed okay so this is the percentage of scale range accuracy which is static error divided by maximum scale value then is percentage of true value so this is uh, the same as uh, the relative static error okay the relative static error and the percentage of true value accuracy they are the same the error is represented in terms of the true value of the measured quantity so the accuracy is specified in terms of percentage of error which is the static error vm minus vt difference between measured value and true value divided by the true value okay static error divided by true value so these are the three ways of expressing accuracy and in all of uh, these uh, ways the error the accuracy is represented in terms of error that's why when we have we, when we discuss accuracy when the topic of accuracy comes we have to discuss about errors 
because the accuracy of an instrument a measuring system is always specified in terms of percentage of error okay so whenever we come across accuracy there are two things that that are important error and what is the way the method of representing that accuracy okay so here we have discussed about the different ways of uh, representing accuracy or specifying the accuracy of a measurement system about point accuracy percentage of scale range accuracy and percentage of true value accuracy so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much